New data shows U.S. home prices are dropping at a historic level. According to Redfin, the median home sale price in April was down roughly 4% from last year. That's a decline of nearly $18,000. And it follows record high prices during the pandemic. Joining us now is James Rodriguez. He is a senior real estate reporter at Insider. So, James, these drops in home prices, are they happening in specific parts of the country? Well, what we're seeing is these home prices are falling primarily in pandemic boom towns, places like Austin or Boise, Idaho, where from home prices really uh, exploded during the pandemic. And what we're seeing is those price gains were unsustainable. Also in pricey coastal markets, like there you have Oakland, California, where home prices are down 16% year over year. You know, Boise down 15%, Austin as well down 15%. So those coastal markets uh, near San Francisco, um, where you know tech jobs, we've seen layoffs recently. We see people kind of untethered from the office. They're able to move around the country, and so those are kind of the two main storylines there: pandemic boom towns where prices are now falling, and then pricey coastal markets as well. You know, but up until a few recent months, the real estate market had been ballooning. So now home values are down, putting new homeowners who had spent money in those houses at a very, you know, at a higher value underwater. Is there a fear that this could lead to another crisis like we saw in the 2000s? I think what we're seeing is very different than what we saw during the Great Recession. One is there's not this big flood of inventory that's going to cause home prices to fall dramatically. You know, while this is a, a pretty sharp decrease, we did see home prices rise 30% during the pandemic. So even though they're now down 4% year over year, you know, homeowners during the pandemic have seen really historic price gains. And so you know, 86% of homeowners actually have mortgages with an interest rate of 5% or lower. Um, and, and so when you have home prices that have, or when you have mortgage rates that have risen so dramatically over the past year, that really puts a damper on home buyer demand. So mm. there's not a lot of homes on the market, but there's also not a lot of home buyers out there who are looking to shoulder these higher borrowing rates. And so you have things kind of frozen right now. It's not a good time to be a buyer. It's not a great time to be a seller. And so, um, it's kind of difficult across the board right now. Yeah, I want to ask you about that um, because the price of homes is down, meaning that home sellers are getting less money. Um, but mm. for buyers, mortgage rates are higher, so it means that they're paying more money. What does this mean if you are now entering into the, the home market right now in, in advance of this busy season? It means rent. <laughs> does it mean rent? <laughs> well, I think, <laughs> you know, for a lot of people it does. You know, we see that with the way that mortgage rates have risen so dramatically over the past year. You know, I think about it when they when mortgage rates bottomed out at less than 3% at the beginning of 2021. Uh, you know, now they're they're up at 6.6%. So that's a that's a really huge increase. And for a lot of people, that can mean hundreds or even thousands extra on their mortgage payments every month. So, you know, in some cases it may be that there's less competition out there because you have less uh home buyers out there looking for homes. At the same time, there are a lot of reasons why current homeowners aren't incentivized to sell their homes right now. They, they're looking out and they're seeing, you know, a tough market across the board. They're seeing higher mortgage rates. They, they have a maybe comfortable uh, interest rate right now. And so they're looking to maybe just, just stay put. And then again, you have about three and five mortgage holders have actually just moved within the past four years. So you have a lot of people settled down, a lot of people who have uh, mortgage rates that guarantee them manageable payments for years to come. And so um, it's things are kind of static right now. All right. All right. James Rodriguez, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.